Hello friends. So once again, welcome to my channel. In our last video, we have seen how to represent your numbers, how to get their value, values and how to represent the special cases. Next, we will see how to perform various arithmetic operations on floating point numbers that those are represented in your IEEE format. Right. So I'll start with the addition subtraction math. The very basic uh, your floating point operation on, on arithmetic is addition subtraction. So whenever we are performing addition subtraction, what we used to do, the way we used to do for your decimal arithmetic, uh, decimal floating point numbers, same thing will apply for IEEE. Choose the number with the smaller exponent, right? We'll take it. Shift is mantis are right until the exponents of both the numbers are equal. That means my very first step is to make the exponent of both the numbers same, right? So I have to choose the smaller one to make it of the uh, by shifting it to the right by making to make it uh, the main exponent same for both the numbers. After making the exponent same, we'll add or subtract the mantises, whatever is asked to do because addition subtraction rule is kind of same. Only addition or subtraction, this step will be different. After doing the operation, we'll determine the sign of the result. And if required, then normalize the result if required and truncate or round to the number of mantissa bits means whatever we can represent right so this is the rule for addition subtraction then the next is multiplication division in case of multiplication how we used to do we used to add the exponents the way we do in decimal numbers we add the exponents but then the another step is subtract the bias why it is so because see your actual exponent is say uh, 5 then what it will be 132 right because it is in excess or bias exponent and for the another number also let's say it is 5 extra exponent so it will be 132 so if i will add 132 plus 132 what it will become 462 264 but whereas my exponent is what 10 plus 127 that is 137 is the exponent of the result but it has become 264 so what i have to do subtract the bias so 264 minus 127, if I will do, it will become what? 14 minus 7 is 4, 5 minus 2 is 3, and then 2 minus 1 is 1. That is 1. Uh, see, 14 minus 7 is 7. By mistake only I write it like this. So it is 137, right? So because of that, subtract bias we need to do, right? At the exponent, because we are adding two times actually excess, so we need to subtract it once. Then what you have to do? Very simple. Multiplication is much easier. Multiply the mantises and determine the sign of the result. Then normalize the result if required and truncate or round the mantissa of the result. Then next for division. Division, we need to subtract the exponent. So it was say 5, uh, 5. So 132 and 132. Suppose another one is say 131. So 132 minus 131 will become what? Only 1. But we need to represent it using excess format. So we need to again add 127 to it. So add the bias. Here this step is required. Then simple. Divide the mantises and determine the sign of the result. Normalize the result if required. And truncate or round the mantissa of the result. So next we will see one example. Our rules will become clear. So one example for addition subtraction I am taking. Suppose one number is this one. This is given in my IEEE format. First number. Then what this now? Then second number is this one. These two numbers are given to us. We need to add them. So what this number one is representing? The number one is see how the value we are representing. This is a positive number. We know it. And see what is the value? One point whatever mantissa is there. Into what? Two to the power what? What is my exponent? One thirty. This is one twenty eight. Then this is 4, that is 132, 132 minus 127, right? Just sometime back only we, means in our previous videos only we have done this. So 132 minus 127 is 2 to the power 5. This is the number. So if it is 2 to the power 5, then I can bring the decimal point to, towards this side, right? So this one is uh, okay. So it is 2 to the power 5. This only I'll keep it. Second, the second number is, second number is this one, right? It is 2 to the power 4. Why? Because this is 128 plus 3 is what? 131. 131 minus 127 is what? 4. 
Hope this part is clear. See, this one is what? 128 plus 2 plus 1. That is 131. This is my stored exponent. Actual exponent minus 127 I need to do. So, what is this? 11 minus 7 is 4. Rest part is 0. So, it is 2 to the power 4. And what is the mantissa part? 1 point whatever is here. So, this much is there. Right? So, now what I have to do? I need to make the exponent of both the numbers equal. So, for that what I will do? I will choose the smaller number. This is a small number, smaller number. Right? Choose the number with the smaller exponent. Fifth is mantissa right until the exponents of both the numbers are equal. So, we will choose this second number and the second number will become what? It will, uh, what we have done? Fifth is mantissa right. That means uh, this because 2 to the power 4, if I make 2 to the power 5, then I need to shift it to the left only, right? So, this is my right now mantissa and this is 2 to the power 5, right? This is how my number has become. Now, I need to do the addition process. So, while doing the addition, see, this one is my first number, right? Then the second number I need to align according to the decimal point. So, one point, then that 0, 1 and all will come here, right? So, it will be like this, right? This, according to the decimal point only I need to align. So, what it will be? From this side, if I calculate, this will become what? 1. This one will be what? 0, right? This one will be 0. Then, this one will be carry. So, it is also 0. This is 1 will be carry. So, this is 0. This one is carry. So, this is 0. This is 1. This is 1. Point 1, right? So, this will be the result. See, I have also got the same result. 1.1140 is then 1 into 2 to the power 5. So, this is the result of our addition process. So, if this is the result of addition process, then uh, what is the value? Uh, so, what is the value? Uh, means, uh, what is the answer? So, the answer is exponent is in IEEE only we need to represent the answer. So, S is what? Positive. S is 0. E dash is what? 2 to the power 5 means what? 5 plus 127 is what? 132. 132 means what? 128 plus 2. So, here 7 zeros used to be there. So, here it will be 1. It is 132, right? Then, what is your M? M will be 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then, rest of the bits will be 0, 0. This is how the result will be represented. So, this is how we can perform addition. If you need to perform subtraction, the same rule is applicable. So, addition subtraction is done. The next is, actually last video we have seen denormalized number. Here I would like to show you one example where one denormalized number is given to me in IEEE. What is the value represented that I would like to find out. So see, in case of IEEE denormalized number, the value represented formula is this one. It is not 1.m, rather it is 0.m because the normal number is not normalized and it is 2 to the power minus 126. We know we have normalized it up to 126 places only, right? Then, see, suppose this is the value given to us. And we know for a denormalized number, our E dash was what? All 0. And M is not equal to 0, right? So, suppose this value is given to us. Whenever it is given to us, we can find, we will understand that it is a denormalized number because E dash is all 0, but M is not 0. So, it is a denormalized number. So, what is the value represented? We need to change our formula. This is our formula. We will apply this. So, it is minus 1 to the power 0. So, it is a positive, right? Then, 0 point M. So, it is 1, 1. Rest of the zeros I won't write. Then, 2 to the power what? Minus 126, right? Then, if I will make it uh, 1, 1 point 0, then it is 2 to the power minus 2. So, minus 2 into 2 to the power minus 126. Both the exponents I will add, it will become 2 to the power minus 128. And 1, 1 is what? 3. So, 3 into 2 to the power minus 128 is the value represented by this uh, IEEE format number, right? And which is a denormalized number, right? So, this much is in this video. And then in the next video, I am going to discuss your division, uh, division of your IEEE numbers. So, till then, thank you. And if you are getting from my explanations, then please do not forget to 
like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you